Hello friends, this video on electric charges and fields part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 21 before going ahead with part 22. Problem 1 states an electron falls through a distance of 4 cm in a uniform electric field of value 5 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. So we have an electric field. Let us suppose this is my electric field. This is positive charge this side, negative charge this side. So my electric field's direction will be from positive to negative. So this is the direction of the electric field. So we have an electric field whose intensity is given as 5 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. An electron falls through a distance of 4 centimeter. So an electron falls, so the electron will fall like this. So electron falls through a distance of 4 cm. When the direction of electric field is reversed, a proton falls through the same distance. So if I reverse the direction, then proton will fall with the same distance. So we have to calculate the acceleration time of fall in each case and also explain why effect of gravity is negligible in such cases. So let us first calculate acceleration and time of fall for electron, right? So let us calculate for electron. So what we need to calculate, we have to calculate the acceleration. So the movement of the electron takes place along the y axis. So we say y1 is equal to 4 centimeter. That is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters, right? The magnitude of electric field that is E is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. Now by definition we know what would be the electrostatic force experienced on the electron. It will be nothing but the electric field into the charge. So what is the charge here? Charge on electron that is E. So electric field is 5 into 10 to the power 4. Charge on electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So this is the force experienced by the electron. So what will be the acceleration? We already know from Newton's law that force is equal to mass into acceleration. So acceleration will be equal to force per unit mass. Mass of what? Mass of electron. So force is 5 into 10 to the power 4 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by mass of electron is 9 into 10 to the power minus 31 kgs. So this value comes out to be 8.89 into 10 to the power 15 meter per second square. So this would be the acceleration of the electron. So for the electron we found out the acceleration. Now let us find out the time of fall. So what would be time of fall from kinematics equation. Do you remember kinematics equation V is equal to U plus AT. S is equal to UT plus half AT square. We studied all these things in the very lessons in the very beginning of your 11th syllabus. Right. So from kinematics equation, kinematics second equation rather. We know that displacement S is equal to UT plus half AT square where U is the initial velocity. Now in this case initially the electron was at rest right. So this will become 0. So we can say T will be equal to 2S divided by A root over. So what is S? S is nothing but the displacement of the electron which is this Y1. So it will be 2Y1 divided by acceleration. Acceleration we have just found out. So this value will be root over 2 into y1. y1 was nothing but 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by a is 8.89 into 10 to the power 15. So this value comes out to be 2.99 into 10 to the power minus 9 seconds. So this is the time of fall. And this is the acceleration for the electron. Now if you want to calculate the sim calculate similar things in case of a proton, nothing will change. Because in case of proton, the direction is reversed. That means this is positive, this is negative. Electric field is in this way. Proton is also in this way. So everything will remain the same. Just that the mass of the proton is different than electron. Charge of proton is also similar to electron. So when you calculate these two values for proton, 
Calculate it similarly just that replace mass of electron with mass of proton and mass of proton is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kgs. This is the only difference. So in case of proton you can find out the acceleration and you can also find out the time of fall. Now I am not calculating this because I, this is simple calculation and I want you to calculate on your own. Now the second part of the question says why is acceleration due to gravity negligible in this case because if you see my calculation for electron the acceleration here is of the order of 10 to the power 15 meter per second square which is very very large when compared to acceleration due to gravity which is nothing but 9.8 meter per second square. So if you compare 10 to the power 15 with 9.8 it is extremely large. That is why G becomes negligible in this cases. Right? So, I have answered the second part of the question here. So, in this question, I just left the proton part calculation for you and I hope you will be able to do it. Problem 2 states that an oil drop of 12 excess electrons is held stationary under a constant electric field of 2.55 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb in Millikan's oil drop experiment. The density of the oil is 1.26 gram per centimeter cube. Estimate the radius of the drop. So let us suppose this is your oil drop. So what are the values that are given? Electric field is given. So let us suppose that the electric field is acting in a particular direction. For so let us suppose the oil drop, the weight of the oil drop will act along this direction and the electric field acts along this direction because this oil drop has excess electrons. So it is like a negatively charged particle. So let us suppose this is the oil drop and this is the direction of the electric field because electric field is from positive towards negative, right? So this is the electric field. We have to estimate the radius of the drop. Now the question says that the drop is held stationary. Now for the drop to be stationary, if the drop has to be stationary, then the force acting along the downward direction should be equal to the force acting along the upward direction. So the what is the force acting in the downward direction? That is the weight of the droplet. So the weight of the droplet should be equal to the force due to this electric field force due to this electric field will act along this direction, right? So this will be equal to force due to the electric field. Now what is the weight of the droplet? It will be m into g where m is the mass of the droplet. Force due to electric field will be electric field into charge. So what is this mass? We know that density is equal to mass per unit volume. So mass can be written as density of the droplet into the volume into g this is equal to e into q what would be the charge on it charge on the droplet will be equal to some integral multiple of electronic charge this is in accordance with the quantization so this can be written as rho into volume what would be the volume of the droplet it is nothing but volume of a sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of the droplet into g this is equal to e into n into e so here if you see rho is given in the question r we have to find out g is acceleration due to gravity that is 9.8 meter per second square e is given in the problem n is given in the problem as 12 e is the charge on an electron which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so from this we can calculate the value of r cube so r cube is equal to e n e divided by rho into 4 pi g into 3. So now you can just substitute the values which is 2.55 into 10 to the power 4 into 12 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into 3 divided by rho is equal to 1.26 into 10 to the power 3 into 4 into pi is 3.14 into g is 9.8. So this value comes out to be 0 0.94 into 10 to the power minus 18. Or we can say 
radius r is equal to cube root of this value which comes out to be 9.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters. So this is the radius of the drop. Now let us go ahead and look at yet another problem. The problem says a pendulum bob of mass 80 milligrams and carrying a charge of 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb is at rest in a horizontal uniform electric field of 2 into 10 to the power 4 volt per meter. Find the tension in the thread of the pendulum and the angle it makes with the vertical. So what are the values that are given mass of the bob that is equal to 80 milligrams which is equal to 80 into 10 to the power minus 6 kgs. Also the charge on the bob is given as 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulombs. Electric field E is given as 2 into 10 to the power 4 volt per meter. So these are the values that are given. Now let us visualize the situation. Let us suppose this is a pendulum. Now as the pendulum moves, it goes somewhere like this. So what are the forces that acts on this bob? The weight of the pendulum acts in the downward direction which is equal to mg. Tension acts along this direction that is t. Let us suppose at some instant it makes angle theta. So the tension acts along this direction. Now we can resolve the tension into its components which is t cos theta along the vertical direction and t sin theta in the horizontal direction. What are the other forces acting on the pendulum? There is another force which will act due to the electric field and the problem says that the electric field is along the horizontal direction. So that means there will be a force which will act along the horizontal direction and that force will be due to the electric field. So looking at this diagram, looking at the free body diagram, we can write that T cos theta is equal to mg. If the bob has to be at rest, in order to be at rest, all the net force should be equal to 0. So along the vertical direction, T cos theta should be equal to mg and along the horizontal direction, T sin theta should be equal to the force due to the electric field. So that force will be nothing but electric field into the charge. So these are the two equations. So now with the help of these two equations, we can find out the value of tension. In the, pro the problem asks us to calculate tension as well as the angle which it makes with the vertical that is theta. So these are the two values which we have to calculate. So let us suppose this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now you divide equation 2 by equation 1. So what do you get? You get tan theta is equal to eq divided by mg. Now if you look at it, all the values are given in the question. E is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 4. Q is given as 2 into 10 to the... So the Q is 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by mass is 80 into 10 to the power minus 6 into G is 9.8 meter per second square. So when you calculate this value, it comes out to be 0 0.51. Therefore, the value of theta is tan inverse 0 0.51. This comes out to be 27 degrees. So, theta is equal to 27 degrees. That means that the pendulum makes an angle of 27 degrees with the vertical. So, this is the second part and the other part asks us to calculate the value of tension. Now, in order to calculate tension, you can just make use of the first equation. From equation 1, you can say that T is equal to mg divided by cos theta. So value of m is given which is equal to 80 into 10 to the power minus 6 into g is 9.8. This whole divided by cos theta that is cos 27 degree. So this is equal to cos 27 degrees. So this value comes out to be 8.81 into 10 to the power minus 4 newtons. So this is the value of the tension. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com 